Welcome to the second ever episode of Send It Sessions. If you missed last month, you should watch that. We had action from uh, Holland, Eric Decker and crew. We had action from the Canary Islands, Danny Bruch. And we also had action from Hawaii with Graham Ezzy. This month, April Send It Sessions is off the hook. We have got some absolutely killer action coming up for you. And we're gonna kick off in Hawaii. Again, no, don't worry, it's cold Hawaii. Clip Muller in Denmark over to Mads Bjorna. In Easter, we had quite a lot of days and some really fun days. We had all kinds of conditions like light wind, side offshore, onshore, quite windy. Call it dead onshore, maybe, but uh, yeah, like when you go out and there was quite big waves on the outside, you you have uh, no wind in front of the wave, like completely no wind. So, so that made it a little bit challenging to to sail on the outside. But uh, yeah, when once when you you got in closer to the beach, it it it, uh, it jacked up again the wave and was uh, there was a sandbar where it really like. Yeah, it was uh, breaking really nice on that sandbar and uh, that was really fun. You could jump and uh, have some really nice wave riding. Yeah, mostly tricks because it was quite a short wave. especially good for, for Wave 360, it, it just came like this, like really hollow and then pushed you. So when you, you go and you're onshore, you, you, you get the push and you also get the wind that brings you in. It, it makes it uh, really good for, for Wave 360s. Fiona is a full-blown ripper, just absolutely pinging those 360s out. And they have had some solid conditions in Denmark by the looks of it. Uh, and talking of solid conditions, next up, we're gonna go over to Cape Town and Ivan Newmark in his legendary style to tell you what's been going on. I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about what the season's been like. February, everyone was like, yeah, February's going to be good. February's going to be the best ever. February wasn't good. <laughs> February was average. Still didn't get our mega sessions. Beaches are open. Sailed Big Bay once or twice. Full power on 4.5. Normally we're on 4.0 every day, holding on, as you guys might know. Cup of tea, English get, all the English vast boys get me drinking cup of teas all day. Real addiction now. Um, yeah, so February was shit. There was quite a few people in March. April we got a lot of south winds and southeast winds and uh, yeah flip I probably had the best sessions I've had in years in this like three weeks in April it was incredible Cross off more offshore than cross shore, which made the waves super clean. 
There was a big period between the swells, so there weren't much bump on the wave, and there were so many waves in a set. And for the amount of people that was actually here, you can choose any wave of the set, and people were just getting wave after wave after wave. Just probably the best conditions I've sailed wave riding in my life. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. See how good the banks are here. We've still got a couple more days of wind, so fingers crossed. Uh, secret April. Yeah, don't come to Cape Town in January, February. Come to Cape Town in April. It's better, apparently. <laughs> anyway, guys, have a have a good time. I'm gonna. Drink my cup of tea and stay safe across the world. I'll hopefully see you guys back in Cape Town uh, yeah, next summer. So book your tickets. We are keen to get it back and crowded again. Cape Town absolutely firing. It's the best conditions of my life. <laughs> no expression. I freaking love it. Cup of tea, mate. So there we go, Ivan uh, letting us have a little glimpse of what Cape Town's been like in the late season. Uh, next up, we're going to go to the GOAT of freestyle, the greatest of all time. And he's got new sponsors and he's given us a quick note to tell us what he's been up to. Hey guys, here Goyito Estredo. As many of you know, I got the new sponsor, but also I got all my new gear with me. Everything is amazing and ripping. I spent most of the time training El Yaque the last three months, but I also went to South Africa three weeks and I was training there full power too. So I want to show you all my new moves. Still got it, hasn't he? He's got new sponsors, but he has got the moves. He is extra motivated because he's a he's a dad now. He's got to support the family, so he is gone into overdrive. I'm looking forward to competition kicking back in and seeing how he gets on. Next up, we have got an epic little spot. Um, looks like a little reef break in Brittany. Yeah, over to Philip to explain. Hi everyone, I'm Philip Mesmer. I come in Brittany with beautiful sunshine. I would like to speak about my last windsurfing section. It was sunny, 20, 25 knots, side offshore. family and friends watching. Uh, there were only a few waves on the water at the moment. The swell just arrived when I was going on the water. Really punchy waves and especially alone on four, four hours on the water. As you can see the weather can change really quickly. Frequently the spot is on fire with a large northwest wind and a good west swell. <laughs> Finally, I recommend this spot to learn because there is a big reef under water. So if you want to test your mast, it's a good solution. Absolutely ripping. It's been a while since I've seen him sailing, but he has gone up a level. And I tell you what, that spot, it looked sweet, didn't it? He had it all to himself. Little bowly little reef break. Love it. Absolutely love it. And talking of bowly little reef breaks, 
Next up, we are going to Gran Canaria. Yes, I did say Gran Canaria, but with a difference. And we're gonna go around and check out the sessions that Josef Pons has been scoring this winter. From the end of the summer until March, we had really, really good conditions here in Gran Canaria. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, this winter it has been different. We started with uh, some southwest winds, uh, having some really good conditions in the south. Uh, when it's turning uh, the swell from the south, uh, the Salinas, you know, it's next to, to Posequiero, it's a really good spot for wave riding. I don't need no Also, we had uh, really good conditions with the southwest winds in the north, in Galder, where it's Portak and Saidov. Also, so nice to, to have some different uh, wave riding sessions. When it's the wind turns a bit more to the east, uh, the north is really good. Normally it's really, really light, but with big waves and perfect for floating and uh, down the line, uh, starboard tack winds. Sure, we had some good days also in Portac, in Salinas, uh, uh, a bit more to the south, uh, which is a really good spot for down the line. When it's when the wind turns a, a bit more to north and sometimes northwest, it works really good. And we had uh, different forecasts with uh, really light winds but uh, good good waves. So happy to stay here in Gran Canaria and, and be able to train in different kind of uh, conditions, different kind of uh, wind directions with different swells. So um, normally people think Gran Canaria is just strong wind, big small waves and really good spots for, for jumping. But during the winter we can, if you move around the island, you can have uh, different uh, conditions. And I have to say, I prefer, for sure, I prefer the winter than summer. 
because it's less crowded and different. Now in April <laughs> we didn't have much wind, uh, just a few days for flood water sailing and pump and jump being but it looks but it looks like now the wind is turning again to the northeast and it looks like we will sail a bit. So yeah, happy to, to score the different uh, conditions and I hope you like it. There you go, Gran Canaria, as you might never have seen it before. Some absolutely epic wave sailing to be had. You know, in the winter, wind coming from all different directions. Love it, absolutely love it. Uh, next up, we're gonna go over to Australia and a young ripper by the name of Daniel Johns. Now, I know this guy for a few years now. When I first met him, he was probably half my height uh, and he could like barely duck jive. He is now tearing it up and he's dropped us a little session. Usually we sail with the Tarita crew from Melbourne, but last weekend Dad and I decided to go down to Waratah Bay, which is about two and a quarter hours southeast of Melbourne. When we got there, it was gusting up to around 30, so I read 3 3. When we're out there, I got some nice turns and got some pretty good waves, but I did see the waves start to close out a fair bit. Especially on one occasion, I had to do a chicken jive just to avoid a nailing from the wave and just got away with that one. one wave I was pretty overpowered on it but I was tempted to go for some aerials which I've been trying to be working on and tempting him uh, in the end I just hit my rail and went over the front of the board and then a couple waves later I was heading out I got over this kind of little mini roller which was just about to break got over that and then as I was getting approaching the next wave probably like 20 10 meters before 15 maybe I was I had a fair bit of power, but then I kind of lost my wind. And so, because it's sketchy on the inside, the wind, so I had to really pump the backhand just to keep it planing. And I saw the wave kind of break downwind of me. But as I was approaching the wave, it was jacking up pretty quick. So I decided to go up into the wind a bit. And just a split second before, it kind of all kind of closed out. So I kind of just let go of the rig and jump, duck dive the wave kind of straight into it. And as it turns out, that probably wasn't the best idea because the rig went all the way into the beach. So I had to swim all the way in against the current and then get to the beach and run downwind to get my gear. And then, yeah, I was, got my gear in the beach and just sitting down. And I was very, very fatigued after that. Had a couple stitches. we go finishing with that little session in Australia and uh, let us know in the comments did he bail out at the right time I think he did <laughs> and that is it for April's edition of send it sessions only one thing left to say that no matter where you are in the world don't forget to send it! <laughs> These send it sessions will not happen unless you, yes you, send us in your action. What we need is action, but we also need a bit of talking. You can do a small bit of talking, you can do a long bit of talking. We can go into spots and explaining the spots or conditions or talking about a specific wave. It doesn't matter, you get the idea. We've done two videos now, you know how it works. Send it to Alfie at windsurfing.tv. Yes, Alfie at windsurfing.tv. He edits it together. I do a bit of talking and we'll drop the next episode next month. It is taking a bit of work to do these. So if you do want to support the channel, you do like these videos, don't forget you can chip in some beer money uh, and also that uh, money will 
also enter you into a free prize draw, which you can win product prizes like sales and boards and all this sort of stuff. There is a summer giveaway coming soon. There we go. That's it. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you for the next one.